Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Hesse Vlog. My name is Stephen Hesse from the Geek Apocalypse YouTube channel and uh, founder of said site and podcast. And it's Tabletop Day! The greatest day in the calendar where we all get together and we play board games and forget about life. Or at least that's how I look at it, but I am super excited. I've hardly slept because I'm such a nerd and I get the opportunity to play board games with my friends and potentially some strangers and I get the opportunity to teach them about games and how brilliant they are. And I, what is a more brilliant day than that? I struggle to know. Um, I hope you, uh, anyone who's watching this uh, video, um, will take the time to check out Tabletop Day. I hope you're doing something amazing with your family and friends, getting to know people better, because one of the great things about board games is it gives you the opportunity to get together, an excuse for people to come round to their house or to go to their local game club, where everyone gathers together and play the most greatest alternate games not the, the terrible ones that grew up that led to arguments and fights, but ones that are entertaining, a little bit competitive, um, but but for the sole purpose of their their their, their purpose being in, in, in board games is to bring people closer together and to create new friendships and new and new relationships and um I for one am incredibly grateful for board games being in my life. Um, you know, a lot of my uh, social life and friends were generated from when I restarted this, that you know, restarted this this hobby of mine. Um, there was a podcast, and unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to use with my friend Michael, who had a very similar coincidence in regards to tabletop, uh, the the web series that got us both interested in board games and card games again. We both went through the situation of being at university and, and playing these games with people, and then losing track of them friends who played with it and then all of a sudden we have no nobody who, who who's interested in these games and and I for one am incredibly grateful for tabletop giving me the opportunity to to re redo a hobby that I absolutely adored um, and there's a couple of things that tabletop's done which I, I think is really important to, to bring up uh, for this blog for me to be the most important thing I can say in this is that not only has it created a, 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 an avenue for, 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 for people to find out about these great alternate games that no one would know about um, without them being made aware of them with tabletop, um, but also it's, it's recreated a community that was lost through, through other processes, through potentially video games and, and various other distractions that the board game industry and, and the hobby of playing board games you know, seemingly a bit lost in the ethos, and so they've they, they've basically gained people the confidence to turn around and to ask people to play games and not feel ashamed about it. Um, the amount of people since tabletop's been around that I've seen who have come up to me, you know, who have come up to me and said, "I've always been sort of shy about playing games," and had a conversation yesterday, uh, yesterday about this very subject. So I've been afraid of 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 just coming out to people and saying. Um, I want to play these games and I, and I would like you to teach me or whatever it is and, and it's just so brilliant now that it just feels that, I mean obviously there's going to be some people who are going to be a little bit uncomfortable um, but I think it's slowly but surely getting rid of this stereotype of that the you know gamers are a bunch of people who don't want people to be involved and, and don't want families to be involved and just want to, to, to be in control of this of this industry of board games and just not invite anybody else and it couldn't be further from the truth. I'm proud of the of the board game club that I'm part of. I'm proud that I get people when we did Geek Fest who tell me that I've put their fa got their family back together. And Tabletop has done that, you know, a million times more than I have, and and it feels great for me. So I have no idea how awesome it must feel for for Will and Felicia to to get as many emails as I no doubt no doubt no doubtedly they'll be getting uh, for creating such an awesome event. Uh, so on behalf of everyone here at Geek Apocalypse and everyone who's going to be a gamers, I, I feel I can speak for them freely when I say thank you so much to Geek and Sundry for creating such a great event uh, and holiday known as Tabletop Day. This is the third year it's going to be happening and it's the third year we've um, we've been celebrating it. And to show how much we want to get more gamers involved and to hopefully get new new members coming to our club today is we get an email sent because when we, we meet every second Saturday and fourth Saturday of every month uh, um, and 
So this is a special one for tabletop day that we've added to the calendar. And an email gets sent to remind everybody of when the sessions are on. And Camo, who sends the emails, has basically said, we're going to bring all the infection factor games, if people can, to encourage, to, to show people the more simpler but fun games. Uh, and I say infection factor, which is what Will says, of, of the enticement games to get people uh, into the into the hobby of playing board games as awesome as them. Uh, so I love the fact that I have a club that's willing to do that rather than just go, we're going to do a normal session and add an extra session, but we're not going to care about any any people who are going to want to try and play games on tabletop day, which there's not really a better time to try than than, than an event than than a than a holiday that that, that that suggests you you know if you're going to try something new, this is the time to do it. So you know I love that I love that I'm hoping that we're going to get you know people like the last two years that that turn up and. And we get the opportunity to teach them a game, and if they're with a family or with a loved one, uh, you know, like a, a girlfriend or 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 other kids or whatever it may be, that we we bring them up, we bring everybody a little bit closer together. Because what's more awesome about as I'm doing this video, there's probably people already have played games in the in the world, and there's people who are going to be later on in America and in the west of the world. And it's our turn now, you know, it's currently uh, 10 past 9 as I'm doing this recording and it's our turn to play games and, and everybody, you know, there'll be a lot of people in the world who are going to be contributing to this and um, all in every continent around the world and I mean they tried to get Antarctica last year, kind of hoping that they loot do it this year. But how great is it that we are part of this huge worldwide community that are simply getting together with their loved ones or people they don't know who are going to get to know through the avenue of board games and we're all playing together on the same day and we're all part of it and we're all making a difference by being part of it so this is exactly the type of thing that brings people together and so I hope if you're watching this or will listen to the podcast because our, my plan is to take my equipment and I'm going to be interviewing people who come to the event today try and get to to, to talk to people and, and promote Tabletop Day as an event uh, for us and everybody. Um, but I hope if you're considering going to do something for Tabletop Day but not 100% sure or maybe think it's not appropriate for your children or whatever it may be, um, it's, it, that's far, it's far from that. It's, it'll be the most perfect place to take your kids and you totally should do it. Um, you'll have an absolute great time and you'll meet some really, really awesome like-minded people who just want to have fun um, and be awesome about it. Um, so I would just like to say, you know, from my perspective, thank you Tabletop for getting me back into games. Thank you for increasing my so social circle with people with like-minded, awesome people who I have who I have a lot of time for now. Um, thank you for making the board game industry mean something again and uh, and bringing more like-minded gamers and awesome geeks who are out of their shell more are more out of their shell and involved in something as brilliant as tabletop day i really appreciate it um and congrats on your three-year anniversary and i look forward to next year's one already even though this one hasn't even started yet that's how excited i am uh but i guess the only way that you can end a, a vlog like this before i head off to my tabletop day escapades is to say, to borrow Will Wheaton's awesome line of, um, well, I'll say my line of, enjoy being a geek everybody, but above all, because it's tabletop day, all I guess I should say is, play more games! <laughs>